my name is Tom Rodelius. I'm a member at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. I study theoretical physics specifically. I work on string theory, quantum field theory, and early universe cosmology. I've been interested in cosmology to some extent for as long as I can remember. As a kid, I remember reading picture books in the library about the cosmos and outer space, and I thought it was really cool. I wasn't planning to go into theoretical physics until more recently, though. When I was a kid, I actually really liked sports, and that's something when I started college, I kind of wanted to go into sports analytics and go work for the Minnesota Twins doing Major League Baseball stats. But a couple of things happened to me in college that sort of changed the tra trajectory of my career. The first thing is that I had a couple of very good theoretical physics professors who studied particle physics and string theory and early universe cosmology. And I thought that their classes were really incredible and I thought that the research that they did was really interesting. The other thing that happened to me during college is that I became a Christian. And as I was becoming a Christian, I started to think a lot more about some of these deeper questions of meaning and purpose. And I think there are a few different fields that are really good for studying those things. Of course, philosophy, theology are great. But given my mathematical background and my background in science, for me, a really set of interesting set of questions to study were things like, what are the fundamental laws of nature? And you know, I think there are a lot of academics out there who study questions that aren't directly applicable to our everyday lives. And I think if you're going to do something like that, you better be studying the questions that you find most interesting. And to me, these questions of what are the fundamental laws of nature are a very interesting set of questions. So when I went to college, I have a twin brother. I went to Cornell. He went to Northwestern. And his freshman year, my twin brother, Steve, came to faith. And he tried to give me a copy of the Bible and some other books to read. And I told him, look, Steve, I have trouble finding time to read books that I want to read, much less time to read books that I don't want to read. You know, that's just where I was. That's how I felt about religion. It was a nice thing, but I felt like I was a good person. You know, I always got good grades. I was always a pretty nice kid. So I didn't understand why I would need something like that. Nonetheless, uh, I started talking with Steve more. I started going to church with him over the summer just to see what it was like. And I actually did read those books that he gave me, as well as books like The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins to try to, give, to try to get the sort of opposite side, the opposite viewpoint. And there, it came to a point where I was starting to think of this as being more plausible. But there was still the question of why do I need this? So meanwhile, while this was going on, I applied for some summer internships, and I got an offer from the NSA contingent upon taking a polygraph. And I went in to this polygraph, basically approaching it the same way I approached heaven, which was, I'm basically a good person. You know, I haven't done anything seriously wrong. I should be fine. But I went in, and I started failing. And I realized pretty quickly that I was going to fail if I felt guilty about anything. So for about four hours, I shared pretty much everything that I could think of that I'd done wrong in my life. And for the first time, I started to realize, wow, you know, deep down below this exterior of friendliness and intelligence, you know, I'm really a pretty messed up guy. And I've done a lot of things that I'm not proud of. And so for the first time, this story that my brother had been telling me about God, about Jesus, about forgiveness, this started to seem like something that was not only plausibly true, but also something that I needed. And so for me, that's sort of the first moment when my faith became real to me.